It's burning these people to not be talking. <laughs> Literally, there is no chance that I can keep them down anymore. We talked the entire time. The we just entire time. Just very quietly. The entire yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. So good. This is Rain, Katie, Gavin, the intern Kevin. They're all here from 106.5 The End. Uh, guys, thanks for being here today, obviously. Thanks for having us. Thank and, and we're talking about something cool. It's been happening in a long time. I know you guys are going to set it up. but And it's great that you guys continue to do this every single year, helping kids. It's called Cards for Kids. Tell us a little bit about uh, about what the, what the initiative stands for. Sure. So Wake Up Calls, Cards for Kids is great because uh, what we do is we ask uh, Wake Up Call listeners to go ahead and make uh, Valentine's Day cards, yep. and then we'll drop them off at local area hospitals uh, and give them to sick kids that won't be able to go to their traditional Valentine's Day parties like uh, you know we did when we were kids. And uh, last year, we hit 75,000 cards. We're gunning for 100,000 cards for Cards for I mean, Kids. That's this year. amazing. The, the, absolutely amazing. Easy for people to do. They totally, you totally get it. I mean, uh, Valentine's Day as a kid, you know, usually you're in school, you're getting all the fun little Valentine's Valentine's, you're giving them out to all your friends. These are kids that can't do that right. because they're in the hospital. And so you're helping them and giving them that experience. And, and you know, hospitalized kids miss a lot of little things you like bet. that. They don't get to trick or treat. They don't get to have traditional Christmases. They don't get traditional Valentine's parties. So this is an opportunity for them to at least get that. And it bet. also lets them know too that, um, that people outside the hospital are thinking about them and loving them and, and you know, wishing them to get better. You mm -hmm. bet. And yeah, yeah. and so are we seeing this number? How many did you say you're collecting? Uh, we're gunning for 100,000 cards this year. 100,000 yeah. cards. That's We amazing. can do it. We can do it. Oh, totally. You can. We can do it. You're oh, all yeah. in. After everything we saw last year from this community, we absolutely can do it. The people of Sacramento are the sweetest people. They're so empathetic. Little kids making cards for other kids that they right. don't even know. Yes. Like it gets you all choked up every no time. No kidding. Kids helping other kids is always yeah. there. That's a good stuff. What hospitals are you? I mean, where are these cards going? What's their destination ultimately? Where? Are yeah, they so going? it's actually not just uh, Sacramento. We uh, Last year, we uh, gave a bunch of cards to uh, uh, hospitals in San Francisco and okay. the Bay Area. Um, Sutter's been a big part of it. Uh, we've also uh, given cards to Ronald McDonald House. So it's not just limited to, to local area hospitals this really touches all of northern california it's so great so so meaningful it has to be why are you so quiet down there they uh, they're, we, told them we don't we don't give you a chair and so you just have <laughs> right? to sit at the bottom that's, that's, that's the best part there's an empty chair right next you're to you like you're right? not sitting in it but he's not allowed to sit <laughs> but a great Woo! opportunity for all you guys to feel good about what you're doing obviously your voices in the morning are so great and you get to you know spread so much laughter and fun but you're also doing some really cool work and this is one of those examples thank you yeah february 5th is the deadline you can drop them off at the kids care dental and orthodontic locations or okay. the 106.5 The End Studios, which is on Madison Avenue. And uh, we have our uh, promotions team that's going by and collecting them uh, nonstop until the deadline. Have you seen, have you been able to see some, maybe in, in a moment where you've been able to deliver a card yourselves and seeing the kids' faces and what that does to not just them, but their families as well, knowing there's someone on the other end that made that card for them? Have you have you witnessed that yourselves? Have you been able to see that? Uh, we haven't witnessed it, but that's one of the things that we, we get the feedback from um, you know, the nurses and the doctors that hear us when, they, when we have our team drop it off is like you don't understand how much this means to these kids you know? and, and if we get choked up reading the cards Jeez, as we no prepare kidding. to box them up i can't imagine what it means to to a sick kid or their their parents no kidding. Uh, my daughter uh, abby has had a couple long hospitalizations and our listeners did send cards and stuff like that so i can say firsthand you know it, it makes you feel sometimes you can feel kind of alone in those moments and just reminds you that, that you're not alone, your kid's not alone, you and people are out there thinking about Let's you. Let's get to 100,000 this year, right? That's what we're gonna That's do. Yeah. Let's put it. up the information so that you can see how we can get there. 100,000 cards is what we're shooting for. Now through February 5th, they told you to drop off uh, locations, intercom radio, uh, kids care dental and orthodontics locations, and bring them here, fox40.com slash cards. We'll take them online as well. Guys, thanks for doing this. It's a great, great initiative that you're a part yeah. of. Thank, thank you, you so thank much you for having us.